This is a video showing how to use time as a variable within a mathematical model. I've previously captured a video of motion of an object in two dimensions moving through space. I've digitized the x and y position and now I wish to use time as a variable within my mathematical model. I can click on my calculator and you can see the construction of the model here where we've set up the kinematic equations here. However, we cannot directly use time in this calculation. To access that, we instead need to use the time of function so that we can extract the time data from our video. To access this, we'll go down to the special button down below on the calculator and then move the mouse over the time of button here. If I hover over this button down below, it shows the syntax for the use of this function. So once I've done that, um, I can then put in my argument for that. I'm going to use the X position for the captured video data. And of course, I need to put in the correct units here so that will match correctly on the graph. I'll go ahead and close down the drawer here for the calculator. I'm going to create a graph by clicking on graph and dragging it to the middle here. I'll select on the vertical axis and then go down to my mathematical model. So this shows the calculations that have been done from uh, time. One of the other things that I can do here is I'm going to click on this vertical axis and select Add Similar Measurement. And now I'm going to select the Y coordinate of my captured video data. And you can see the very close matching of the video captured data, which is shown in the light green here, versus the mathematical model that's been generated from that, which is in the darker green square here. So this has been a video to show how to use time as a variable within a mathematical model in Pasco Capstone.